Hey guys, I'm back again for my second video to give you a little intro, which I should have done in the first one probably, and a little bookshelf tour because I know I love watching them. And uh, I'm just going to give you a little intro about myself and some of the books that I have read and that I own. And um, I'm actually using my camera today, so it should have better resolution than my webcam, which was awful. And uh, so let's get started. I'm Megan, and I'm a senior in high school. And I love reading, always have. But this past July, I started watching some booktube channels, such as Process Wong. She's my favorite. And uh, they really inspired me to just put myself out there and make my own booktube. So, um, to the bookshelf tour. Okay, uh, I share this bookshelf with my mom. So this top shelf is hers, and it's really messy compared to mine, obviously. So these are uh, some of the ones that I own. Um, sorry, my hand's a little shaky. I do not have a tripod with me at the moment. Uh, so we'll start with the first one down here, which is Tuesdays with Maury. I ordered this one online for my 10th grade English class because we had to read it, and it was uh, it was cheap and it's got a pretty crappy cover because it's like got stains on it from the previous owner. And um, I don't remember much about it other than it was sad. So I'm probably not gonna reread that one. So the second one we have here is The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, which is about a concentration camp during the Holocaust and uh, a little boy and a friend he finds. And it is super sad. I cried. I also read that one for my 10th grade English class. And I just, oh my gosh, that, that was so sad. I will never read that again. <laughs> oh, and these are all um, in alphabetical order of author last name. I have to be organized. I just, I'm OCD like that. Third book here is Code Talkers by Joseph Bruchak, something like that. And uh, I read that for history one year, and I, I think it was about Navajo Indians in like World War II or something. I wasn't a huge fan, not really a huge fan of historical um, books or historical fiction, but anyway. And now this is the House of Night series. Uh, I have marked, I don't have the second book. I don't know why I skipped buying that one, but uh, then I have the third book, Chosen. Untamed is the fourth book. Fifth book is Hunted. And I just really love these covers, so I had to buy them all. <laughs> then Tempted, Burned, and Awakened. And I don't have any books past that simply because I really didn't like the series. Okay, when I first started reading it, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. But then I went on a, um, I guess, a hiatus from reading I didn't read at all for like six months so um after that after I got back into it um I decided to finish reading the series and there are like a million more books out now but um I didn't remember anything about the series other than the main character was a vampire named Zoe that was all I remembered and I hate rereading books I just feel like I'm wasting my time I don't know I'm weird but I hate rereading books so I didn't pick up with the series and I'm probably just gonna leave it like that. The next series is The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I have that uh, the first four box set. Then I have City of Lost Souls, the fifth book, and City of Heavenly Fire, the sixth book, which is huge. That book is absolutely huge. And that was a great series. Probably my, I think it is my second favorite series behind Beautiful Creatures. It was awesome. It's about shadow hunters. They hunt demons and they're like half angel, half human. And the characters are awesome. And I just loved Cassandra Clare. She was a great author. Um, and I'm currently reading The Infernal Devices by her, which is the prequel to that. And it's looking good so far. Next, um, I have Things Not Seen by Andrew Clemens. This was a really great book. It's about a boy who wakes up one morning and he's invisible. And I don't remember what happened other than I think it ended up, the reason he turned invisible was because of his um, electric blanket or something. I don't know. My dad sent it to me uh, for Christmas one year. 
and it was it was pretty good. And now I can't get it back in here. Okay, whatever. I'll do that later. Uh, next, I have Smart Girls, Smart Choices by Megan Clinton. I got that on a ladies' retreat with my church one year. I don't remember what it was about other than just the biblical perspective on how a girl should be, I guess. Then I have The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I'm sure most of you have read this. I do not have Catching Fire and Mocking Jay. However, I have those on my mom's Kindle uh, because I had to read that for school or else I wouldn't have read it. And I'm really glad I did because it was awesome and I loved it. And the movies are awesome. The third one just came out, Mockingjay Part 1, and it was great. Next, I have Emerson by Samuel Crothers. I don't really remember where I got that. I think I ordered it off eBay. I had to do a uh, project, a project or something about Ralph Waldo Emerson, and I knew nothing about him, and I don't think I even used that book because it was so boring. And I haven't read it, but I'm never going to. So anyway, next I have If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. I read these years ago before anyone knew what they were, uh, not to sound hipster or anything, but uh, I, I, they were okay. They absolutely were not my favorite, but it's about a girl who dies and her ghost comes back and something about her boyfriend, but now it's like a major... Uh, movie so yeah I didn't really like it it was mediocre I guess but I really can't remember all of it either next is beautiful creatures complete collection my boyfriend bought me this for our uh, it was either our anniversary or Valentine's Day and I got this in eighth grade that's what got me started on the mall and he bought me uh, <clears throat> the this box set and I finished them and that is my favorite series I know a lot of people don't like it and I really don't know why because I thought it was awesome but uh that's my favorite series it's about Lena who is a caster which is like another word for a witch <clears throat> and just her adventures with her little boyfriend Ethan who isn't really anything and I don't know it's it's awesome it's been a while since I've read them but they're definitely my favorite and it's by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll and Cami Garcia tweeted me a couple months ago and I will never forget that I screenshotted it sent it to all my friends and I don't know I was really excited about that um, next is Dangerous Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll and it's like a spin-off series um, and it's about Lena's cousin and her boyfriend and the second book should be coming out any day now. Uh, maybe, I think it's the beginning of 2015. I don't remember exactly when, but I'm excited about that. Next, I have The Innocent Man by John Grisham. I read that this year for my history class, and he is a great author. If you like law and justice and all that stuff, which I don't. So it wasn't my favorite book, but it was really well written. Okay, to the second shelf. I'm running out of room. I have to <laughs> clog it up with these books. I should be getting a new bookshelf for Christmas, so I'll come back and do a new book tour um, probably sometime next year. Okay, first I have Theodore Boone by John Grisham. I read that in ninth grade. I hated it. Can't remember what it was about other than this kid maybe wanting to be a lawyer or something. Uh, so yeah. The next one is Dangerous by Shannon Hale. It's, uh, it caught my eye. I was in Nashville uh, on a weekend shopping trip with my uh, friend and I picked it up because it's about this girl who wants to be an astronaut but she only has one arm and she gets selected to go to space and everything ends up being corrupt and I don't know it's a crazy book and I loved it so I would definitely suggest that. Um, next is Cruel Beauty. I really hated this book. I really did. It's um, it's new to the sh it was new to the shelves and it had a pretty cover so I bought it and I hated it. It's it's like a uh, fairy tale. The girl is destined to marry this guy and to kill him and uh, ends up falling in love with him kind of thing. I really didn't like it. Next I have two copies of Across Five Aprils by Irene Hunt. I had to read this for school one year and I think we accidentally ordered it twice, uh, submitted the order twice or something. I really don't know why I have two of them and I don't even really remember if I read them or not. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think I did, actually. Next, I have Pay It Forward by Katherine Ryan Hyde. And, yeah, this is the movie uh, cover with Haley Joel Osment. Love him. And uh, it was okay. I mean, I'm not really one for... Um, not paranormal things um, and this was just really real life and made you cry kind of thing and I really don't like that but it was an okay book <clears throat> I mean anyone else I'm sure it was awesome but not to me uh, next I got this at Dollar Tree it's Father Knows Less um, by Wendell Jam Jameson and it's just uh, trivia like uh, his little boy asked him questions and he wrote down like every question he ever asked him and tried to answer it by talking to uh, professionals and such and it was a good book I love trivia books um, I call them bathroom reads <laughs> put it on the back of the toilet kind of thing um, next I have books one two three and five of the left behind the kids series and um, I read those when I was probably in middle school and it's just about the rapture and the kids that are left behind and I never finished it so I don't know the rest <laughs> next I have <clears throat> the Fallen series by Lauren Kate I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this um, I bought them uh, a few years ago great now that's stuck anyway I bought them a few years ago and I really enjoyed them and I, I read the first three uh, right after the other but then I had to wait like a year for Rapture to come out and I don't remember if I finished it or not I don't think I did but they were really good it was about fallen angels and it was a love story and I'm all about fallen angels so <laughs> next I have the story of my life by Helen Keller I had to read this for school and I didn't read it I think I just looked up sports notes or something I really don't like biographies or autobiographies so <clears throat> Revelation Unveiled by Tim LaHaye is next I bought it at Lifeway it's like a study on the book of Revelation and I didn't like it there were some questionable things and I didn't even finish reading it um, then we have the book of general ignorance by John Lloyd and John Mitchinson and it's just another uh, bathroom read Lots of stuff that you thought you knew that wasn't actually right. And I like shoving stuff in people's faces, so I quote a lot of that. <laughs> um, then I have The Giver by Lois Lowry. About three or four years ago, my dad sent me this for my birthday, and I hated the cover, and I was like, this book looks really stupid, so I never read it. And then we had to read it in 10th grade. Um, and apparently it was like some big hit and everybody loved it so I was like oh I think I have that book at home so I dug it up read it loved it read the next two books in the series loved them and never finished the fourth book because I never found it and um, I think if I tried to go back and read it now I wouldn't remember anything but oh, I watched the movie and the movie was great so watch the movie <laughs> then I have the Lunar Chronicles and I bought these this summer and read them they're by Marissa Meyer <clears throat> I hated them I love sci-fi and I don't really like the whole fairy tale thing and that was probably why I didn't like them it was just way too it was so innocent like a little kid book and I mean not that innocent is bad but it was just more it read more like a little kid book and I wasn't really a fan it's about um princesses turned robotic and werewolves and it was just it was weird I didn't like it. A lot of people do. It just wasn't for me. Then I have my Stephanie Meyer section. First is The Host. Probably one of my favorite books. It's about an alien takeover and they turn into parasites and invade your body and there's a love story behind it and there's a really great movie out um, from this book and it's supposed to be a trilogy um, for years Stephanie has been saying she's gonna make two more books The Seeker and The Soul I think they're called but I've yet to see them and I don't really think they're coming because it's been years and um, it was really good and then I have Twilight series of course mine is Breaking Dawn because my dad would send me one uh, for my birthday for Christmas um, 
and my, maybe my birthday again and then he just never got Breaking Dawn so uh, I don't have it I mean I read it I think I borrowed it from someone but uh, yeah those are my Stephanie Meyer books then I have Ruined by Paula Morris I loved this book I love New Orleans and that's where the setting was and I love graveyards and I love ghosts and it was a really great story it was about a girl and a ghost that's all I remember and I remember that I loved it and just recently I saw in Barnes and Noble that there is a second book out and I have got to get it and read it because I'm sure I'll love it then I have do your ears pop in space um, my friend got me this and it's a bunch of trivia about rockets and space and stuff and I haven't read it yet I read a few pages of it but I just haven't got around to it yet <coughs> excuse me then I have Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I bought this in an airport this summer on a flight back to my state. And I read it on the way back, read most of it. And it was awesome. It was really awesome. I love Lauren Oliver. And I know she has a really popular series out right now. I don't remember what it was called right now. But I've heard it was really awesome, so I'm probably going to get it at some point but I have a lot of reading to catch up to right now it was a really good book it was about a girl who died and then she kept reliving the day she died until she got something right it was it was good then I have by the time you read this I'll be dead by Julianne Peters this was a really really weird book it was about suicide I bought it when I was like 13 and I was just fascinated with death and it was about this girl who was planning on killing herself, and it was really, really weird. Really emotional, <laughs> really weird. I didn't really care for it that much, but yeah. Then I have Sleep No More by April Lynn Pock. I got this this summer and read it, and it's about a girl who can see into the future. And somebody tried to take advantage of her powers or something, and they're called or oracles is what they're called when they can see into the future and it was a really good book i really did like it and it, there's a second book but i tried to buy it and i think maybe it was only an ebook it, there was something weird about it so i never got it i would like to have it in book form if they did have it but i'm not sure if they do okay let me stack these up in front of these so we can talk about them and like I said, I'll be getting a new bookshelf for Christmas, hopefully, a really tall one. So um, I'll definitely do another video when I do. Uh, I have Chain Letter by Christopher Pike. This book was awesome. And I think it's been around for a while, and I had just never heard of it. And I picked it up, and it's like um, a murder mystery and a group of friends. And it was really cool. I really did like it. Um, then I have Vampire Crush. I'm pretty sure I bought this at a book fair in middle school, and I remember nothing about it other than there was like a vampire, but I did like it. I remember that. Then I have the Divergent Trilogy. I uh, love Divergent. I uh, really didn't care for Insurgent. It was mediocre, and I absolutely hated Allegiant. I absolutely hated it. And if you haven't read the Divergent Trilogy, I would encourage you to stop after Divergent because I think if Veronica Roth would have stopped after Divergent, it would have been a great book and it would have been awesome as a standalone. But she she just added these two in and I think it was her first series that she'd ever done and I hate it now. I just hate the series. It had a horrible ending and I hated it, but it's dystopian and there is a movie out for Divergent. I have seen it. I loved it. I'm sure you've heard of Theo James. He was in it. And I think there's one coming for Insurgent, and I'm probably not going to watch it. I may. I don't want to, just because I really hate these two. Oh, they fell. <laughs> then I have The Help by Katherine Stockett, and it was a really um, popular movie, too. And I have not watched it, but the book was great. I got it for, I think, my 15th birthday and I really loved it. It's about um, slaves and white people and I don't really remember <laughs> what happened. I really don't remember what happened. I really don't, but I really liked the book. Um, it was really good. 
And then I have Death Becomes Them by Alex Strauss. I loved this book. It is on my favorite shelf. It is great. It's about um, famous people, actors, musicians, blah, 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 that have killed themselves in the past. And it tells their stories and why they killed themselves, how they killed themselves. Um, like, here's Kurt Cobain, and there's Ernest Hemingway somewhere. <clears throat> Just a lot of really cool, really cool stories. There were some um, inaccuracies, and I did notice that her number one source was Wikipedia. I don't know if I can find it to show you but I'm just saying if you write a book um don't make your number one source uh, uh Wikipedia like we can't even use Wikipedia to write essays so uh don't use that as your number one source I'm looking for it I'm not seeing it it's in the back somewhere if I can find it uh yeah there we go I underlined it because I was so mad um, it's kind of blurry, but Wikipedia, um, IMDB was a source, uh, yeah, about.com and answers.com. I underlined those because I was really mad because that was really dumb to get those off sites that anyone can put anything on and you don't even know if it's true or not. And she put that Hitler, um, reigned in 1993. And it was actually 1939. There was just stuff like that that was a little off. But it was still a great book nonetheless. Um, then I have Let the Circle Be Unbroken by somebody Taylor. Oh, Mildred Taylor. And I never read this. We were supposed to for history in like 10th grade. And we got in trouble because we didn't read it. Nobody did. And I'm not really sure what it's about. And I'm probably never going to read it. So it's just going to sit here and look pretty. Um, and then My Visit to Hell by Paul Figpen. This book was great. It was kind of like a spinoff of Dante's Inferno. Um, just about this guy who ends up in hell and uh, he escapes and it just talks about all the different rings of hell. I'm not saying it's factual, but it was a great read because I am really interested in stuff like that. And it was $3 at like a Dollar General. So I had to get it, of course. So anyway, that is all I have for today. Uh, thanks for watching. And maybe the resolution is a little better today. Uh, so leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.